Welcome to this quick tutorial of the Android app motion detector. This is basically what the app looks like. Immediately when you start the app you could probably just place your Android device, put it in place and hit the activate button and it'll work fine for you. But I'll, I'll go through these settings over here just to explain a little bit first one is sensitivity just how, how sensitive your motion detector will be the default is medium and should be should work well for in most situations and the second option here is the a delay between captures this means if if a capture happens a motion is detected and a picture is stored the app always waits at least three seconds before it captures the next picture. The third option is a noise reduction. This can be very handy if, let's say your, let's say your camera starts capturing a lot of pictures without anything moving. This probably means you have a lot of noise, especially in in low light conditions. This can happen. Then you might want to try and raise this a little bit and see if that helps and the last option here is to choose a camera the default camera is, is usually your back camera but you, you could also choose a front camera if you'd rather use it okay that that's really that's pretty much it if we go back we also have a preview window now this preview will just show boxes because I'm running this in an emulator so there's no, no real picture actually but let's go back and let's try try the app and hit activate now we're running and it will detect pictures every third second because because of the boxes moving around in this emulator and now once the app is running it's actually running in the background so you can can turn off the screen or you can even exit the app and it'll just tell you motion detector is now running in the background to deactivate the app you just start the app again or you can also access it from here in the pull down list here and just hit deactivate 13 pictures stored in storage SD card motion detector so it'll it'll tell you every time exactly where the pictures are stored Okay, hope you hope you find some use for this application and good luck. Thanks.